The goal of the um, visit today is to put in an internal feeder um, so we can feed in emergencies. And I know that um, one and two are empty. But that's where the bees are, so I'm confused why they're there. bit of honey. There always was a little bit of honey on um, one of them, and that's it. And I think um, I use internal feeders on pretty much all my hives, except for the really strong ones. What you're seeing is an example of an internal frame feeder that replaces one or two frames and you pour sugar water into it for emergency feeding. And this fall in the Midwest, we had a drought and we had a, a great summer, but for some reason, August 1st, the, the bees get to keep all their honey for August, September, and October and they just were not bringing in enough food. They were light. I go out in the hives and I weigh each one with my hand so I know how much, how heavy they should be. And so I just had to feed, feed, feed. And so an internal feeder makes it just really easy, pop the top box, and they can empty that feeder in, in three days. I'll take the feeder out in the summer when I know the bees are thriving and in the fall, I, I put back the feeder and I keep it for fall feeding and spring feeding. I leave the internal feeder in, in the winter and I empty it out. I don't want the food to freeze. And I switch to other forms of winter feeding, candy board and mush bags. <laughs> 